Okay, here we go, here we go. We've just got a, uh, a tenor coming in. Uh, sorry, an alto, an alto, a tenor. An alto 62, D46359, made in Japan, of course, and my light is flashing on and off. We're gonna fix that on Tuesday. Uh, what have we got here? We've got a little bit of um, hitting hard at the back on the A and even maybe on the yeah and on the biz a bit um, and unregulated for the left stack. Here we go, we've got the B as we focus in on that now. Let's just do that again. Okay, sure. Boom, there we go. Focusing on the B, that B is sitting out at the back for sure. And uh, a little bit of un, un, uh, over-regulation on the speaker, the key above it we call the speaker. So the B's got the touch piece, the A touch piece with the, um, the B's under it. The G, let's have a look at the G. The G is not too bad. We will just do a little bit on the G. Um, yeah, all the palm keys, they're looking all good. We've got the uh, F sharp, it's looking pretty good. Pad condition's pretty good. The E is looking well. Um, Alt C is looking well. B flat, Alt B flat's looking good. Our E pad is a new pad. It's not an original pad that's been changed out. The G sharp pad is seating well and it's original. We have on the, uh, the right stacks. Let's have a look at these. Just the first touch there. There's some uh, seating issue. That's hitting hard at the back. And also I would say that uh, yeah, the G sharp is holding that open also, but I think it's hitting hard at the back also. Um, let's go around the back and have a quick squeeze. Yeah, there it, go. there it goes. It shuts at the back. Um, so this is a troublemaker. We could call that a troublemaker, but that's not no big deal. Um, and we've got our E hitting hard at the back as well and our uh, our D is good I love that wow that's beautiful the D is beautiful good one uh, C let's just check the light down the bell and of course the light just decides to go out because it's intermittent having a little intermittent leak light um, let's see what we can see here Look, the sea's not too bad. Um, not that we've got a lot of light down there, but uh, these guys are not too bad either. There is a little bit of regulation problem going on, a little bit of hitting hard at the back, but we'll align the bell. The bell's a little bit out of alignment there, and uh, that's not a big deal to fix. We'll spend one and a half hours on this horn and get it all working really well.